dear students uh, now I will show you how to enter the online examination portal of Shyam Prashad College and try to fill up a Google form for online submission of answer script now to do that what we need to do is first visit the official website of uh, the Shyam Prashad College now when you do that just type in uh, Google in the in the Google search engine Shyam Prashad College once you do that you will get a page like this where you can select the URL of Shyam Prashad College and you will get the official website now once you enter into the official website just click on online examination portal 2020 now when you do that you'll be seeing a portal basically uh, it was created for students who are going to appear online examination that is the final and the terminal semester examination conducted by University of Calcutta in this page you can see we have different tabs uh, in the home tab you'll be able to see the important instruction and the guidelines to see that you will just have to click on view or download when you do that you will be able to see the detailed guidelines and important instructions how to fill up and how to download the question paper how to prepare your answer script the front page format then the scanning of your answer script the way you have to name the file this is for only for BABSC and part 3 system so in BABSC part 3 system you will have the file naming format whereas the first portion will be the roll number followed by a dot and the subject code that you belong to suppose you are a student of mathematics honors so you'll be writing the subject code that is MTMA followed by a dot and the paper number so if the paper number is 5 you will write 5 and if the question paper says anything else rather than 5 then you have to write that particular code here now if we move on for BCOM you will have to use the codes BCOMA for BCOM honors BCOMG for BCOM general BCOMAM for BCOM honors in marketing and similarly BCOMGM this is for BCOM general in marketing now again the naming convention is similar to BABAC where you have to write the roll number then followed by a dot and then if you belong to BCOM honors that is account finance you use BCOMA if you belong to BCOM general then you write BOCMG and if you belong to marketing you have to write BCOMAM this is for honors and BCOM GM for general in marketing now that has to be followed by a dot and again you have to write the paper code that has been that will be printed on the question paper and in case of uh, BCOM students who are pursuing the semester 6 and about to appear for the semester 6 examination you will have to use this codes the naming 
format is similar but in case of semester roll numbers there is an additional two digit which signifies the year in which you were registered so just use the entire roll number followed by the dot and the rest is the similar convention where the rest is the subject code followed by the paper code now after creating the PDF file you will have to get ready to submit that using a Google form now I will tell you in details how you are going to submit online your answer script now if you are not sure about the subject codes please follow the subject codes that are given here the subject codes that are mentioned here are for arts and science BCom we have already mentioned it in the earlier section these are the codes that you have to use when you are writing or renaming a file in PDF format for BCom honors in general you can also see on the certain helpline numbers you can call this helpline numbers if you face any problem now let us see what else is there in the online web portal in the online web portal which is meant for online examination to 2020 you have a download section in the download section you will be able to get the format of the front page now you can download this format and get it printed but the particulars you need to write that using your own handwriting the particulars are you have to write the name of the examination followed by the registration number issued by University of Calcutta then followed by the roll number again issued by University of Calcutta you have to write your name in block letters then you have to mention whether you are presently honors candidate general or major write the subject code here you have to write the paper number or the code as given on the question paper if the question paper says any group you have to mention it here and write the full marks that is given on the question paper very carefully write the date of examination starting time is 12 ending time is 2 p.m. starting time is 12 noon ending time is 2 p.m. the duration of examination is obviously two hours you have to write it here examination year is 2020 then followed by the full signature now here you have to write the question numbers that you have attempted inside it may be question 1 it may be question 2 3 5 6 and whatever it is you just have to mention it on this paper now the total number of pages attached including the front page this front page is your page number one so in the bottom side you just have to write page number one now count the number of pages including the front page so if the front page is page number one and followed by three more pages then the total number of page count is four so this is how you have to fill up the front page now let us move on to the notice section in the notice section again you will be able to get the theoretical program that has been issued by the University of Calcutta followed by the complete general instructions and guidelines provided by the college then in the next section when you click on students you will be able to see the descriptive role numbers provided by the University portal University of Calcutta where you will be able to see the become all pottery candidates this includes male female you can click and view the list 
as you can see it here. Similarly, if you want to see the BCom general list, the list includes the students belonging to accounting, finance and marketing. Again, in, in this BCom general, the students belonging to marketing and account finance are included. So if you want to see or download, you just have to click on it. Similarly, all the candidates belonging to semester six and all the candidates belonging to semester six who are pursuing BCom general. Followed by the faculty of arts, student wise exam schedule. Here, each and every student with the exam schedule, including the elective one, two and three, have been given by the University of Calcutta. This list has been provided by the University of Calcutta. Let us see. Now this is the list of all the BA honor students that are going to appear in the coming examination, online examination. You can see that the candidate has been given the roll number, registration number, including the name and the papers that he or she going to appear. So in this case, the candidate, the first candidate is appearing for 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th paper on the respective dates given here. Now similarly, if we go to the general candidates, you'll be able to see that the general candidates have been given the elective papers as well as the date on which he or she is going to appear. Now the first candidate is about to appear the general as political science general as the first elective, history general as a second elective and education general as the third elective. And ENVS, Environmental Studies, is common for each and every student and they are going to appear an examination on 8th of October 2020. Similarly, we have the student voice exam schedule for Faculty of Sciences. All the candidates of general, all the candidates of honors also includes the failed subject candidates and failed subject candidates in general as well as the students who are going to appear in computer application. Now, on the day of examination, you will have to visit the section question. In this section, you will be able to see the three faculties now, if you belong to Commerce, you have to click on Commerce. And if your honors is Account Finance or you belong to the general group, then click on Account Finance. And here you can see that for honors candidates, the questions will be available here. You'll have to click on Download or View. For Account Finance, general candidates, you'll have to click on download and view to get the question paper and the candidates belonging to semester 6 will be able to get the questions from here. Similarly, if you go to the arts section, if you click on history, you'll be able to get the question for honors candidates as well as you will have to, you will get the questions for general candidates. So the candidates who belong to the general category will click on the general question that is if it is the first day then the first day it is elective one and they'll have to click here to get the question. You can also visit the official website of uh, University of Calcutta where you'll be able to get all the questions same questions which will be available in the university website also. Now for science again we have all the departments so if you belong to geography you will have to click on this 
if you belong to mathematics, if you belong to computer science, if you belong to electronics, economics, physics, zoology, botany, physiology, chemistry and statistics. So, if you are a student of computer science, you may have honors, you may have general. If you click on computer science, the honors candidates can uh, download the questions as well as the general candidates can also download the questions from the same location. Now this was uh, in the case of question. Now once you have downloaded the question and you have attempted your examination, now it is the turn for you to submit your answer script. Now if you are writing the examination on 1st October 2020, that particular answer script have to be submitted on the 1st October 2020 between 2 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. For that, you need to visit the online submission section. Now, if you belong to a department, suppose you are a student of history and you are presently going to apply or you have written the fifth paper in the honors category, you'll have to click on history. Now, if you have, now if you are a general candidate and you have the elective one as your history, that is history general is your elective one, then again, you will have to go to the same department, click on history, and upload your answer scripts. So, in this section, when it is under history, you will be able to upload the answer scripts belonging to honors candidate as well as the answer scripts belonging to the general candidate. So, if your elective is history general, go to the online submission, click on history, and submit your answer script. Now we will take a simple example how to fill up the form and submit a particular answer script. Now for a demonstration purpose what I have done is I have created a folder on my desktop. I have called it test file and I have three folders. One is for admit card, another is for answer script another is for registration certificate now the answer script has been divided into day one day two day three and day four i'm only just showing you how you are going to do it on the day one say i have a file which is written as day one script but as we all know we have to rename the file in a renaming convention that has been given in the guidelines and the candidate here belongs to the subject computer science and and he's appearing for part 3 examination so the naming convention will be go click on right uh, right button of the mouse click on rename first write the roll number followed by a dot and since the candidate belongs to computer science honors the code is c m s a and appearing on the first day that is the paper is 5 so dot 5 now when you press enter the file has been renamed now let's when it is ready now let's go to the website and click on online submission go to the science section and click on computer science 
Now when I do that, I enter the section computer science. I will now click on upload the answer script. Now once I do that, see, if you are not logged in with any of the Gmail IDs in your browser, so the Google form will not open. It will ask you to sign in. Now, what I will do is I will sign in with my Gmail account. And for your case, you will sign in with your Gmail account. As soon as you provide your Gmail account, user ID and password, it will then redirect you to the form. So you have to remember very carefully. If you are using a desktop computer or a laptop computer and trying to submit your answer script, it is very, very essential that you have a Gmail ID and using that you have already logged in into your browser and only then you will be able to see the Google form. So after that, you just have the form. You can see the form is for computer science. A similar type of form will open for other departments also. Enter, the, enter your email ID. Fine. Now, enter the date of examination. Click on the calendar. We know the examination is on 1st October. Then, your name. Here, for demonstration purpose, I have used Anish Sen. The data I'm entering are all fictitious. It is only for demonstration purpose. Mail. Choose student. If you are casual back here candidate, you have to choose casual. And if you are regular candidate, choose regular. Now you have to enter the registration number. Now it is always preferred that you check the registration number and enter it very carefully. So what I will do is I will go to the file which is uh, meant for where I have the registration certificate. What I can do is I can also check the answer script because I have written that in the answer script. So the registration number that I have written here is will be entered into the form. So I can enter that fine. Now let's enter the number 016. Now if you provide a hyphen, the system will not take it. So what you have to do is you have to avoid hyphen, space or any special characters. Just enter the numbers like this. Now let's go and upload the registration certificate. Click on it select the file that is on the desktop there is a test file you have the registration certificate select it open and then click on upload it has uploaded now enter the roll number which has been given here three zero one six again if you put a hyphen See, it will not take. Just put the numbers like this and then move on and upload the 
admit card if it is available the field is optional so if you do not have an admit card you don't need to upload anything for demonstration purpose I am uploading a dummy admit card like this click on upload fine now select the course when you click on course since and the computer science we have honors we have general and we have major so these are the only three options that will be available so since the candidate belongs to computer science honors so we'll select this and then we will select the paper you can also see that it has been written on the top sheet of your answer script computer science honor CMSA and the paper is 5 so choose the paper as the fifth paper now we have to upload the answer script now before uploading the answer script please make sure that the answer script follows all the conventions that is the top sheet must be as given in the format in the instructions and the guidelines if you have the capacity to print the format then you can print it or else you just write it with your own handwriting my suggestion is before the starting of the examination you must have completed all this so if your exam starts by 12 finish everything by 11 30 keep it with you mark the page as page number one as shown in the page below and then all the other pages so once we have done this we will go for upload select the file go to the day one select the file and click open upload it so once it is uploaded read the declaration and accept it and then press submit so your response has been successfully recorded by any chance if you make if you feel you have made any mistake but before you edit your response go to your email id where you will be able to see the response that has already been received in it so if you go to your email id you'll be able to see a response has been there click on it just check the response and this it will show you all the particulars that were entered by you the date the name gender student cal uh, registration number uploaded uploaded files the codes paper course everything will be shown to you and if you see you have made some mistake then only go for the edit option so this is how you will be able to upload the answer scripts through the online web portal of Shama Prashad College Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope the video has been informative and apart from this video, I will be also attaching another video where you will be able to see 
how you can upload the answer script and scan the answer script using a smartphone or a mobile phone thank you very much for watching the video and all the best for your examination